complete user error. No. I can't stand this plastic stuff. Guess what time it is? It's time for another craft haul and review. Welcome to Little John Sharns. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time here, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you're always up to date with the brand new patterns and reviews I do every single week. And as usual, if you like the cup that I'm sipping on, Poker for Hire, I have more of these in my shop. I have t-shirts, sweatshirts, bags, cell phone covers, anything you can think of. Check that out. I'll leave all that information down in the description box below. Oh, and if you use promo code YARN, you'll receive a 10% discount. So you're probably wondering, what am I doing here today? So I'm going to tell you what we're going to be looking at. We're going to look at this handcrafted crochet hook, um, a palm and tinsel maker, and to see if it's really worth it to buy a finger yarn, uh, excuse me, a finger yarn guide. So enough of the chit chat. I'm going to hop into what we're going to be looking at here today. Number one. Okay. First, we're going to look at the hand turned ergonomic custom crochet hook of single wood made from hornbeam or purple heart, robinia, pear, apricot, beech ash, uh, walnut, mulberry, and more. So, I wanted to do a review from a business that's not a big business, nothing that you can get on Amazon, nothing that you can get from your craft store. I wanted to work with somebody who was actually a small business like me and you trying to do something, make money doing what they love. And when I came across these crochet hooks, my heart absolutely stopped. And I contacted a couple and they were sweet enough to respond back. Let me tell you about these, this awesome couple that makes these um, handmade crochet hooks. It's Stan Levich and Julie Rodenko. They're a couple from the south of Ukraine. They've been doing this since woodcrafting since 1998. They make a plethora of small wooden items. Let me look up, tell you exactly what they are. I have little notes on the side. Let's see, they've made items such as accordion boxes, crochet hooks, hand turned needle cases, and like even more. And their items are made from an assortment of exotic woods. Let me tell you a little bit about some of the woods that these crochet hooks are made from. Carpathian beechwood, white acacia, smoke tree, hornbeam, merbau, oak, um, honey locust, silverberry, European ash, pear, cherry, apple, walnut wood, and others. I haven't even heard of some of these woods, but they're amazing. I waited a while for these to came in, come in, and when they came in, they were more beautiful. The pictures didn't know justice. So I'm going to show you some sweet, sweet pictures of some of this that, look at these. I know, I haven't even edited this video yet, but I know these pictures are going to be in slow motion. This is the sexiest crochet hook I have ever seen. Absolutely gorgeous. Are you guys ready to see this crochet hook? Actually, before I even show you the um, crochet hook, so maybe we can build up the anticipation. They came in these beautiful little handmade crochet hook cases. This thing is so precious. I am so thankful that they sent this case because I am a devil to my crochet hooks. Look at this mess. This thing I'm going to treasure, but this is handmade too. Look at this case. It is absolutely beautiful and it has... Their uh, name inside and all the other good stuff. Beautiful. Alright, let me show you the hook. I wish I had some type of drum rolls or something. This is the most beautiful crochet hook I have ever owned. It is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't used it yet because it's just so magical. It's probably just going to sit on a shelf being like some sort of decoration other than me using it. No, actually, I'm going to use it. I'm going to make something beautiful with it. But the best thing about this hook, other than the shape and what it's made of, and it's just absolutely gorgeous, look at the hook. This is my favorite type of hook. I don't know if you don't follow me or if this is your very first time seeing one of my videos, my favorite hooks are Susan Bates. I love the inline crochet hooks. Like the boy crochet hooks, the way it's shaped for me, it doesn't really hook at the stitch. And every time I look to buy my own crochet hook, 
or another version that's not Susan Bates, they're all shaped the same. Like to me, the inline hooks is original. Barely anybody makes them. And now uh, Julie and Stan Levitch Rodenko has made this beautiful masterpiece. You uh, know what? I wasn't going to give this review because I didn't want to um, review a, a small business or give them a bad review or just a mediocre review to put a small business owner down. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to give this crochet hook a review. Julie and Stanlevich, I give your crochet hook five balls of yarn. This is the most amazing, beautifully crafted crochet hook I have ever seen. It is definitely a work of art. And guys, if you want to get your own, I'm going to leave all that information down in the description box, box below. Please support small businesses. Because you cannot buy this at the store. And if you do, you know it's made from somebody in a sweatshop that wasn't getting paid any money. This is beautiful custom ordered crochet hook. So definitely check them out. All that information down in the description box below. Number two. Next, we are going to look at the four-piece knitting tool finger thimble yarn guide ring. Stranding wire needle thimble for knitting crafts. Accessory tools. Small and large. So this came in a pack of four. I've done uh, my own DIY finger yard guide. I wanted to see if these two are comparable because I've never actually had my own. I've just seen what was on for sale and recreated my own. So, but let me show you this one. It's nothing spectacular. It just goes around your finger. Oh my goodness, this is tight. Even though it's tight, the spirals, if you twist it, you're able to, no, okay, on my DIY one, when you twist it, you're able to, oh my, okay, let's see if I can put it on my finger, it fits right there, oh, I forgot to get yarn, uh, I guess I have to go up and go over there and get some yarn and give it a try, I'm going to try it out with my new handcrafted crochet hook, ooh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my yarn guide and my crochet hook and some yarn. I am so sorry the camera is a little bit further away from the table than usual. The table that I typically have since for us Christmas was just yesterday and I left my folding table over at my mother-in-law's house. So right now I'm using my big round table and it's further away. So this might be a little bit hard to see. So I'm going to um, put the yarn into the yarn thimble, the yarn holder. It has little spirally loops that you just slip the yarn through. Oh, it's just it's splitting my yarn. I mean, it works fine. This one's a little snug. I'm not sh exactly sure what uh, size I got when I ordered it. I'm going to have to go back on my order form and see exactly what I got, but it works perfectly fine. And how many did we get? My computer went off. For four, five ninety nine. Hmm. So what is that? I can't do math. It's like a dollar and a quarter for one. All right. So you got to see this and how it works. So is it worth it? Let me compare it to my DIY finger yarn guide. This thing right here. I have a tutorial for that. I'll link it above, and I'll leave a link for your own DIY finger yarn guide down below. I made it from this little floral wire that I got from my local Dollar Tree. This whole thing, I think, is six feet. All for a dollar. You could make probably six, seven, or even more. More than that. You can probably make a good 15 finger yard guide just from this thing right here. All I did was wrap it around a... Not this one, but wrap, well, this one could work too. You wrap it around a thick item like this, the wire. And you take a little plier and you bend the ends and you make your own loop just like this. And it's cheaper. See, mine, since this loop, it's adjustable. If you have small finger, big hands, you can just twist the loop and adjust it back. And if you lose it, you can just make another one easy. This one, they're not adjustable and I guess you have to get the correct size. And I think mine is actually made better because I bent in my loops so it wouldn't scratch me. These are left open. So I'm ready to give this pack of four finger yarn guides a rating. Is it necessary when you can make your own? 
No, on a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm going to give this just two balls of yarn. Not really necessary when you can make your own. Number three. Last, we're going to look at the Red Heart Pom Pom and Tassel Maker in a color tail. Alright, when I came across this, I didn't find this online. I was just walking through my local Walmart. And when I'm in Walmart, I just have to walk through the craft section, even if I'm not going to buy anything. And I'm walking and this thing catches my eye. I thought I bought almost all craft gadgets, at least that you can buy in like the little local store. And I came across this thing. I was, I've never seen it before. It's pretty nifty. I mean, yes, you can make tassel makers um, with cardboard or you can make pom-poms with uh, cardboard too. I even have the little, what is it, a clover tassel maker. It's somewhere in my craft room, but this one was completely different. You can make pom-poms and tassels all on the same item. And if you can look in the back, what's going on. So we're going to test this out and see if it's worth it. I've done a tassel maker review before and I believe that one was made by Clover. It was alright but it was a little bit cumbersome. I'll show you that after we try to figure this thing out. So let's open it up and see how it works. I can't stand this plastic stuff. It's like the worst. Okay. These instructions aren't too... Well, these look crazy. I like to look at the pictures. Just like a man. Let's see. Let's try to put this bad boy together. Uh, I should probably really read these. Oh, wait. They length completely glossing over the instructions completely I guess you can make the length as long as you want if you want to make more pom-poms make it longer and these are the little wrapper ends on the side so let me grab some I'm not going to use this yarn this is kind of some nice yarn let me buy some get some scrappy yarn I don't like and we're going to test out this tassel maker and I'm going to bring the um, camera down a little bit further so you can see what I'm doing okay to put these together it comes like this there's three sections I already put those parts together and you just clink it a little rough but not too bad and these are the pegs I guess where you wrap them around See if I can get this in camera. There we go. Zoom out. That's as far as I can zoom out. So I guess this is where you would wrap around. I was reading the instructions and I guess they're a little bit more complicated than I said it looks. And I have to put yarn in peg section number 1 and 15 to get a certain size uh, pom pom. But I couldn't figure that out. So we're going to get rid of that. And I'm going to look at the pictures. I'm very good at following along the picture, so I'm going to do it that way. So it said, let's see, lay down four strips of yarn. I made really long strips. They didn't tell this long, but I figure if it's really long and I make a really big mistake, maybe it won't be too bad. So I'm going to lay these down, evenly spaced apart. Well, I guess that's good. Let's see, Ooh, I can count. One, two, three, four. There's one. One, two, three, four. There's one. One, two, three, four. I can put one right here. And one, two, three, four. Put one right there. I guess mathematics. Since I do crochet and do stitches, I can figure that out. Okay, I got those down. And you're just supposed to tie on a strip of yarn on the end. And begin wrapping around. And careful not to pick up your little tie knots. So I'm not going to make you watch this. I'm just going to con whoo, continue to wrap it off camera and I'll come back when it's all wrapped. Okay, I got it wrapped all around and those little uh, strings that were down below, I just dragged them up and tied knots exactly where they were placed. So you didn't miss anything. I put a lot of yarn on this, so let's see how it works. Well, according to the picture, I would do a cut right here. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch all these cuts. But I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to cut here and here. Alright, so 
I'm gonna next thing you'll see it all cut okay I cut them on off and on the last one you just pull off the peg and cut and apparently I didn't measure this one correctly the ones at the end I ruined the end ones but I didn't do the calculations correctly but this is what they look like they are so cute all right let me take the camera back up and give you a review of these and a better look so we got a better look at this handy thing I actually like it when I began to wrap it I realized instead of wrapping it like this I turned it sideways and I was able to wrap it real quick and put these little strings in again afterwards let me show you the cute pom-poms the ones that turned out right uh, these I like it this is super quick sometimes I hate using the clover pom-pom maker I wish I had one handy on me right now the fact if you know what they look like I'll insert a picture of what it looks like you have to wrap 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 then go on to the next time wrap wrap then close it in half it is just a struggle this was super easy and it made more than one palm at one time and if you like I guess use less strings dividers you can get a bigger pom-pom so you can do that oh and I should have showed you while I was making it you can make tassels because this part will be the loop for the tassel and you would just tie it off right there and the fringes would hang and that's how you create a tassel so that was pretty cool and let me show you my ugly ones This is not the tassel maker's fault. This is complete user error. I pulled, I didn't have my string centered correctly, so therefore I came off with this. I don't know what you would call this. This is a hot mess. I messed up. But this is not the tassel pom pom maker's fault. I am ready to give this cool little thing a review. Um, on a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm going to give this five balls of yarn. It's definitely worth the money. If you find it anywhere like Walmart or your um, local craft store, even on Amazon, I'll leave that down below. This is definitely, I recommend it. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. I made a complete mess of everything. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out all of my other craft hauls. I'll leave that here on the other side. And I'll see you all on the next tutorial or review. Bye, guys.